battery-operated clocks have become a staple in homes and offices due to their reliability, simplicity, and low maintenance requirements, while these clocks are common, many people might not fully understand how a battery-operated clock mechanism works, in this video, we'll delve into the workings of a battery-operated clock mechanism, explain its key components, and discuss how you can keep your clock in top condition. To better understand how a battery-operated clock mechanism works, let's break down its key components. Quartz crystal, the quartz crystal present inside the cylinder is the heart of the clock's timekeeping ability, it vibrates at a precise frequency when an electric current passes through it, allowing the clock to keep accurate time. Circuit board, the circuit board processes the vibrations from the quartz crystal, it counts the vibrations and generates regular electric pulses that drive the clock's motor, this board also has stator that consists of wired coil wound around a metal piece, which help regulate the flow of electricity. Battery, the battery powers the entire clock mechanism, the battery provides the necessary voltage to keep the quartz crystal vibrating and the motor running. Drive gear, the drive gear is a tiny but crucial part of the mechanism, it receives the electric pulses from the circuit board and converts them into mechanical energy, this energy is then used to turn the gears that move the clock hands. Gears, the gears in a battery operated clock translate the motor's movement into the motion of the clock hands, different gears control the hour, minute, and second hands, ensuring they move at the correct speed, the gears are precisely engineered to ensure accurate timekeeping. Clock hands, the hands are the visible part of the clock mechanism, displaying the time, they are attached to the gear system and move accordingly as the gears turn. When you insert a battery into a clock, it sends an electric current through the quartz crystal, this current causes the crystal to vibrate at a consistent frequency, the clock circuit board counts these vibrations and converts them into regular electric pulses, a driver gear is rotated by an electromagnet, which provides the force to rotate the clock hands, this electromagnet is composed of a coil of wire, which uses electrical current to generate a magnetic field, and a strip of iron to channel that magnetic field to the drive gear, every second the electromagnet switches directions, thus causing the magnet inside the driver gear to rotate 180 degrees, most of the gears in the gear train has two different gears, one on top of the other, to move the seconds hand, which is mounted on a shaft through the clock center, we go through a 12 to 48 gear reduction and then an 8 to 60 gear reduction, thereby reducing one revolution every 2 seconds down to one every 60 seconds, the minute hand is also mounted on a shaft through the center, and is driven through an 8 to 64 gear reduction to the idler, followed by 8 to 60 to the minute hand, and finally, the hour hand is driven via a 15 to 45 reduction to the idler, and a 10 to 40 gear reduction, to produce one rotation every 12 hours, as a result, we have three shafts, rotating to which the hands of the clock are mounted, each rotating at different speeds, the last gear is used to set the time, and interestingly this gear has 13 teeth on it, and rotates once every 69 minutes, as in the name, the time setting gear directly rotates the minute and hour hands, however, the gear with the second hand doesn't move, because the two parts of this compound gear slip from the high torque, the gear with the second hand doesn't move, because the two parts of this compound gear slip from the high torque, required to rotate the second hand, 52 times per rotation of the time setting gear. So this is how quartz mechanism in a clock works, and tells the accurate time, and keep your clock in top condition.